Rob Reichel of TheForbes.com wrote a piece on Aaron Rodgers in which he collected a number of quotes from various sources of former Packers players being critical of Aaron Rodgers. One of Rodgers' former teammates, Michael Finley, thinks his new coach, Matt LaFleur, will have his hands full dealing with Rodgers. He said this, he's coachable to a point. Once you try to overcoach him, that's when he's going to do his own thing. With McCarthy, McCarthy used to call a play, and Aaron would look at him, and it's a whole different play. And we just ran the play that number 12 called. Sorry. And I think it's going to be a lot worse with a young guy and with where Aaron's at in his career. He's an icon in the NFL. It's going to be hard to tell Aaron what to do. This is fascinating, Bobby, as you think about Aaron Rodgers and just what he's known to be. I do think it's fair to say he's already sort of a legend in the NFL. What do you know about Rodgers from your own experience that makes you think some of this could be true? When you look back, you know, Aaron and Rodgers and Mike McCarthy, they were together for so long. And I think sometimes that you begin to wear each other a little thin. And I think Aaron was upset a little bit with probably the lack of innovation in the offense. And then one of the things that he definitely just voiced his displeasure about was the firing of his quarterback's coach, Alex Van Pelt, who he was very close with. And so those things all in the culmination, yeah, it kind of rubs you a little bit sour. And if you don't feel like the play calls are coming in maybe, and you heard Finley talk about overcoaching, like no great player wants to be overcoached. Tell me what I need to know, put me in the situation, and let me go do my thing. And so I think Matt LaFour will be fine as long as he comes in, works with him, and if he has good ideas, he'll be fine. Players can smell. They can smell incompetence. They can smell uncertainty. They can smell insecurity. And if you're not going to come and be confident and feel like you have a great handle on it, guys are going to see right through that. Let me make it clear what you're saying is you think that was how Rodgers felt about McCarthy. Yes. Maybe all the way through or at least towards the end that he did not feel he was fully confident, that he was a tad insecure about things. I just want everyone to be clear yeah, that's no, what you're suggesting. It's not with LaFour. I think at the end of it, yes, with Mike McCarthy, the – Alex Van Pelton and Aaron uh, Rodgers had a great relationship, and I think Mike McCarthy was a little bit, I think he was a, a little bit un, insecure about that, the fact that maybe he was closer to his quarterback coach than his head coach. So when you think about what could happen with LaFleur, you got to think that he's going to let Rodgers just have a lot of this control, right? Like, why is he going to go to him and say, I'm going to try to change up what you've been doing? I think when you go any place where there's a Hall of Fame quarterback and you look at maybe Peyton Manning when he went to the Broncos, like, hey, what do you like to do? What do you feel that you're good at? Let's tailor an offense around your, around your skill set and what you feel confident in. But I think that those are two different things to some degree, right? In, in New England, Bill Belichick runs an offense that is built around Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean he doesn't coach him hard. It doesn't mean there's ever any question about that. And we've seen the friction over the course of time. The one thing I'll say in Jermichael Finley's favor in this is at least he put his name on it. Yes. Not like yeah. some of these cowards who were saying these things anonymously in Philadelphia about Carson Wentz. But I think that there is an element of locker rooms, and you could speak to this better than I, but I've been around it a little while. There's an element of locker rooms that when a quarterback has been there for a very long time, there is some resentment every now and again. He's much older than they are. He's much more famous than they are. He's much richer than they are. And he might not always be the easiest personality to get along with. I don't think this is as uncommon as it might seem when people first hear it. No, and you talk about Bill Belichick coaching Tom Brady Hard. I think that's an incredible point. But Bill Belichick's also won six Super Bowls. Tom knows that Bill knows more about the game than anybody else. He has confidence in his head coach that what he's telling him is going to help him win. And if players embrace that and they understand it, they're great. They feel good about it. But it's when there's that uncertainty there where we've tried this before. It didn't work. I need some new ideas. Mm.